Hello YouTube, this is Random379 and this is the second part of my campaign for Fall of the Samurai Shogun 2 playing as the Saga family. And we're just continuing where we left off last time. It's pretty much the same. Still have these troops garrisoned here. And I was trying to find this yes, here we go. Found the enemy navy. So we're trying to land on Goto Island as before. Oh, and we captured their ship. That was very good. It is so good to capture enemy ships this early on in the game because ships are so important. They cost a lot to repair. Oh well. But now we have two great ships. I'm trying to build the cadet school as well, but that should hopefully be done very soon. And we can end. Oh no! Check, 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 check. No. So we can end the turn. Okay. So our brother has come of age, which is good. And now, um, now it's spring as well, which means that. So this says a condition for each season now. So every six turns, there's a different condition that applies. Not sure what else to call it. So in spring. Every single province gets plus one happiness, which is very helpful. I think I will research uh, epic architecture. Yes, that's it. So, brother, he almost looks like a um, communist soldier, just from the colours, the Russian communist. But. I'll get some line infantry just so we can support this army. Because if we're going to land on Goto Island, we'll need a substantial army. And yes, I know. Ooh, possibly. Imperial. Yes, get some more trade. Trade is always so important. Because it builds up over time, so the earlier you get it, the more trade you'll get later on, and so forth. Okay, so we've recruited the line infantry. So we'll bring him up with our general. One look, uh, three units here gained experience, and that was from the foreign veteran. So I guess that's one of his, one of his abilities to add experience to units. I think that's actually really helpful because it means you don't have to fight a thousand battles just to get some good experience units. So yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what else the foreign veteran can do. And now we'll try and bombard Goto Island. We damaged the town a bit. Not much. Not that significant. Hmm. Yep. Ooh, wait. Can we build anything? No, we can't because we are extremely poor. I really need to get another province. Yeah, so during the AI's turn, our ally actually got attacked over here. So let's hope he doesn't get destroyed. In case, let's move these guys on here. Put these guys in the boat. And can I drop them off this turn? I hope so. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's good. Okay. Can I afford anything now? Still cannot afford anything. Oh well. I'll just save it up to spend when I can improve Goto Island. And yeah, they have some spear units, and bad, bad gunpowder infantry. So it should be an easy battle. I mean, I have three generals, and well, I have artillery, and I have my navy nearby, so it should be fine. Okay, what now? What now? I think it's time to attack. So we're gonna move our navy, bombard them first. We destroyed some of their good spear units, which is very good, very helpful. Now we're going to go and attack. Let's go fight. Yes, see we have... See, it looks only half even, but I have such a huge advantage in this battle, which you'll soon see. Because one, I have parrot guns, which is pretty good artillery. And I have naval bombardments from this navy over here. See, I'll go fight this battle to show you exactly what I mean. And you'll get to see that awesome, awesome, awesome naval bombardments, which really, the first time I saw them, it was it was amazing. So I'll basically just skip until a more interesting part of the battle, because 
take a while to move my troops up into position and it takes time for the bombardment to become available. So we're in so we're in the battle here and now I have my artillery in position and I'm gonna get them to use a special ability. Which is trap wall shot and kill zone. So let's see how this works out. And I missed completely. Oh well. But in any case, the more important thing is that I have the naval support ready now. So I'm going to target it right here. I think I'll target it right here. Oh, that's going really well. And yeah, so the naval support depends how many ships you have and how many cannons they have. But you shall soon see how detrimental this will be. It takes a while to go, it takes longer if you have a more focused um, shot. It should be coming down anytime soon. Yeah, the other thing, the enemy always tries to run away. Hopefully, they fail. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think they're gonna, I think I'm gonna miss this completely. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Landed right on their general. Look at all these men flying. And the gates destroyed and yeah that was that was much better than I thought it was going to be considering they all ran away <laughs> and look now they're just getting destroyed even more see artillery and naval bombardments they're just amazing in this game now like such a game changer look they haven't even done any damage to me and the bars already fire in my favor a lot of the units are down to half health Look at that. Look at that destruction. The power of the modern world. So I'll skip ahead to another more important or interesting part of the battle where I move my troops up. And yes, we actually have another naval bombardment, so I think I'll use that. Except the whole the best thing about it is that when they have a cluster of enemy units and they all get destroyed. But the enemy isn't really clustered anywhere right now, so and I can try an area one. I haven't really tried it before. Yeah, okay, we'll try an area one. Do not blame me if this does not go well. Let's try around this area. Okay, so it should come in a bit sooner this time enemy generals running into it, wants to see how it feels like. Oof, that unit is getting destroyed by my cannons. And should be coming any time now. Go. Whoa, 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 just destroyed half a unit with one shot. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, wow, so OP. But yeah, that area effect wasn't that good. If I just targeted it here, it probably would have done a lot more damage. But, all said in hindsight. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll move our units up, and I'll skip once again to more interesting part. Yeah, so we're moving up now, we have all our matchlocks firing, or rifles, matchlocks, uh, firing on the enemy infantry on the walls here, and they're about to rout, just because I've been targeting them with my artillery as well. And we're going to be climbing the walls as well here, with all our spear troops. Yep, oh come on, rout, rout. Oh, now they're shaking again. This takes so long. I think I'll just move these guys up for a more precise fire. 
and I will inspire these units just so they take less casualties or indirectly take less casualties they'll kill the enemy faster Okay, still taking a while to destroy these units. Siege battles are quite tough, but obviously with this amount of artillery, they become a huge amount easier. So I'm definitely going to have a lot of artillery in every, ar every army, especially my attacking ones. And imagine defending with a lot of artillery would help too. But it would be a bit harder not to kill your own guys. By the other unit. Yeah, see their generals routing. That's positive for me. Oh, and finally, the matchlocks on the wall, the levy infantry, decided to rout. Took their time. And I think. Wait. Oh, yeah, they still have this unit up here, which is going to take a bit of effort to kill. I just have to be wary of the timer, because I have a 20 minute timer on each battle. So I can't just sit back and fire all my artillery all the time. I have to be proactive. Maybe just be pro. Shouldn't be too hard. And yeah, we'll speed up the battle now. Climb the walls. Well, they actually have two units there. Oh, one's the, the dying general. Come on, faster. Actually, these units can go faster. Okay. guys to climb the wall anyway, just as an insurance. Mm -hmm. You know, I probably should have just run up these gates, constrain, destroy them with all those naval bombardments, but oh well. We find the battle. Don't, oh, they have their good speed in here, so I might actually need those, unless they route, route, route. I don't think they'll route too easily, because they're quite good units. Effectively the same as Yari Samurai. So yeah, that'll take a bit of effort to kill. And now they're fighting to the death. Fire. Come on. The viewers are getting bored. Finally. So that wasn't too bad. I didn't have too many losses. Mostly on my spear troops. And the battle, decisive victory, and now we have Goto Island. Okay, so you can see it was a close victory, even though I easily won it. And a little piece of the occupier, yeah, and this is the weird glitch that occasionally is happening for me. But I'll just restart my game. I'll be back in a second. Yes, yeah, so I just reloaded the game now, and I realized it's actually almost 15 minutes, so I'm trying to keep the videos to around that length. So I might as well actually just end the part, end this part, right here. I'll work out what to build on Goto Island first. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I could build something to make the people happy and then build a cottage industry. So it makes people happy. In or police station? Ooh, I think we'll go... I have to go to the police station considering so many people are pro emperor. And we can even build a port.
vault here. We'll do that and put those guys in there. And yeah, that'll be it for this part. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you want to watch more videos and tell me what you think. Thanks very much for watching and stay tuned.